Welcome back, Bubby Bashers, to the next BBBA going over Bubby Bash 25 Bonanza and the upcoming Bubby Bash number 26. I'm joined yet again by Plum SSBM. How's it going? What's up, Plum? I'm, I'm doing great today, and I'm really excited to look at these brackets and discuss these tournaments because I think we're entering, you know, the PR should be coming out very soon, um, and we, we've we already seen it, but like the official graphics will be coming out soon. And yeah. It's definitely, it, the PR, I will say, I, I feel like it's going to change a lot in this next upcoming season. Because I think yeah. this this next season, especially for going off of Bonanza, there were some really great showings from players that were previously low. And I think they're still low. Well, those, try not to spoil anything. But that's not fully reflected in the PR because it was just mm -hmm. one tournament. So yeah, we're going to see, in my opinion, some radical changes five tournaments from now. But let's get into Bobby Bash 25 Bonanza. Um, obviously, oh, we have an Aaron W. Aaron win. win. Aaron won. Aaron won six sets. Yeah. That's he, crazy. He played seven games. Played seven sets. That's seven sets. That's crazy. So that, yeah, he, I think really what separates Aaron from everyone else is just his practice mm -hmm. and his dedication to his learning. Whenever yeah. I hear him. Whenever we're playing him, he's like, what can I do better? He's always asking. Right. Yeah. And he's constantly, like, applying new things. And he's just so... I, I don't even want to say he's consistent, because I, I think he has off days. He's just... Mm -hmm. His his B game is, like, everyone else's A game. And I think that's, that's really... True. I think that's really what separates him. Like, I think Danny... I think this tournament, he had an off day. I think he's yeah. playing, like, you know, whatever. Um, he wasn't playing bad, it was just not as good as normal. Yeah. And... Freaking one six sets, insane. Yeah. Uh, he dropped. He did drop a set to Adam. Really good on Adam mm -hmm. for winning that. Um, yeah, I was really proud of him when he won on that. Um, he did get wrecked later, but I mean, he he choked the set versus Danny G. Yeah, I Adam think. had that. Um, and then Danny G, good player, obviously just ran away from it. Uh, ran away with it once he yeah got the lead. But like, um, I I really think that. Aaron is going to be at the top for a while. And we're definitely in the last time, last one we were discussing, if we were in the age of Edo, you know, mm -hmm. he really showed us with six owing Danny in grands. Yeah. Six. Oh, the second yeah. best player. The the previous Crazy. number one ranked player. Spoiler. Yeah. Aaron is ranked number one. He won literally every tournament in the sit in the season, but it's yeah, so not really a spoiler, but he, <laughs> the previous number one player, he's six owed him. Um, yeah. And we're going to be discussing that six. zero later on in this video mm -hmm. with yeah. that number two ranked player now spoilers i'm just playing the whole fucking thing yeah. but um we're gonna have a discussion with him yeah um, um see where he's at with that but i I, th I really think part of like what is contributing to aaron Do dominance over danny g is mm -hmm. danny is is super consistent right right and it because he he always can do the danny stuff and i think that's what's that's why how he's losing because he doesn't adapt versus Aaron. Right. His consistency works against everyone else, but Aaron is just like he has it downloaded, and Danny doesn't play differently ever. So Aaron yeah. is just like I know what he's gonna do. This is good. I'm I'm done. This match mm -hmm. is done. I've solved it, and that that's yeah, really sure. shown here. Um. So look looking at the the bracket here. Unfortunate that we had Ben drop down early. Uh. He did come back from soccer practice and he was saying he was exhausted and he wasn't really in a melee mood um his luigi to give us a bit of show a bit of a yeah, show versus Aaron. i love that but uh, very sad to see ben fall out like that no one's blaming yeah. ben for that performance so it's completely understandable and mm -hmm. we're excited to see ben in the next season um and then we have what's up beating aaron which as before very impressive from what's yeah. up and he almost went on to beat danny that set was yeah. so close uh, um, but just a good performance from from Adam overall. Uh, Canada, let's see where he. Yeah, it doesn't show it on the bracket. Very, very, very close set with Aaron. Yeah, down to the last hit each game. It was. It, it yeah, looks. It was crazy. Just looking at the bracket, you're like, oh, expected two zero number one ranked yeah. player. Well, D'Angelo gave us a show there, but I, I yeah. that was one of the one of the few sets in a Bubby Bash where I was on the edge of my seat. You know? Oh yeah, oh, it was my God. crazy. It really shook things up. Um, same with uh, Weston Aaron, I believe. 
Yeah, but, Weston yeah. took a game. So what happened here with with Weston? Excellent showing from Weston, getting third place. But yeah. so it, both of these sets of versus Danny and Aaron, I, I feel like we're similar. Um, where Weston took game one and everyone was like, "Whoa." And then he was in the lead game two, and then he SD'd and got flustered for the rest of it. That's exactly what yeah. happened to both of them. That I remember really he sucks. he was up a game against Aaron, and then he, he was like two stocks ahead on FD, SD'd, mm. got grabbed, died. And I was yeah. like, oh, man. And then he fell apart after that. It wasn't close. But yeah. I, I really think if Weston can overcome that mentality hurdle. Yeah, um, if Weston keeps that momentum. Then... He, he, I could, he has a yeah. shot at just rocketing up the power yeah. ranking. And I'm I'm very excited to see more of Paul's crap. Um like those are the main interesting moments. Um but I, I think what's really interesting is this is the first time in a long time that we've seen Aaron in the losers bracket. Yeah, it's the first time in a long time we've seen Aaron even drop games. Yeah. Especially sets too, but like he's he's dropping so we were and slash are in the age of of Ado. Um, but I think it could end uh, any one of these players. We've seen it from candidate. We've seen it from whoops. we've seen it from Paul's craft could be Danny G. We haven't, or I mean, uh, Aaron, we haven't really seen Danny G do so, but I think he could get there too. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's really starting to shake up on, on who can actually win a tournament. And I think right now, quite a number of people are in contention for that. Yeah. I, I really, this is like, even though Aaron did dominate Danny G, and we got we got to keep reiterating that because that was a bloodbath. Yeah, if I do say brutal. so myself, Plum it is brutal. Yeah. But even though I called it, I called it six zero from the start. Yeah. Even though Aaron did dominate Danny, he really had a run for his money this tournament, getting sent yeah. losers early. D'Angelo almost taking him out. Uh, he this was kind of from what I remember, the games were close, but it didn't really have a lasting impact like this set did. Yeah. Um. But and then like. He w he almost lost to Paul's Craft, even though it looks like a three one. Uh, Weston, mm. if he didn't lose that FD game, I really think Weston would have won. Yeah. Um, so, Aaron's probably thinking like, "Hey, these players are catching up," and mm -hmm. for, like honestly, for the upcoming tournament, I think there's a lot of people in contention to make oh, it yeah. to grands. Especially if Aaron's not in it, because we do not know yet. That brings yeah. us on to yes, moving on the bracket. Um, um, Aaron is currently not signed up. Um, yep. we don't want to disclose what's going on. I don't know if he wants it out there, but he said he, he's probably coming, but if he does sign up, it'll be at the last second. Yeah. So right now, no Aaron, possibly Aaron. It's like a 50, 50 mm -hmm. chance. And I personally really want him to be there. Cause yeah, I don't know. I don't know about you, but if I was Adam and oh, my light just went off, hold on. <laughs> Technical difficulties here on the Bubby bash before and after, but, um, I don't know about you. But if I was any of these players, I would want to win with the top dog there. If oh, I wanted to get my 100%. first, if I wanted to get my first win, and mm. I think the players in contention for winning this, uh, gonna be Weston. Yep. I think Weston is has really been playing well. The key to Weston's success, I think, is well, he plays consistently and he warms up a shit ton throughout the tournament. He does, and I think that's really awesome. Yeah, me too. I love that. Yeah. Um, I think Adam can also take it. Adam um, can absolutely take it. I think I, like I think these are the big two. Obviously, Danny G can take it. Um, if Aaron's not there, yeah. Uh, um, but because Aaron will be there, like we have no evidence that Danny G can take it. I I think he won one set. Um, I don't remember which Bobby Bash it was. He he three would Aaron yeah. real quick. Aaron was in winners, and then Aaron came back with a reverse three would I believe. Uh, yeah, I, me I remember that. Tournament um so you know he's done it before um but like it hasn't been in a very long time whereas adam and weston have shown that um i mean weston showed he could take games adam showed he could take a set uh we know weston can obviously take a set because he got close um so yeah i think those are the big names something that like people have to realize you know we haven't had that many Bowie bash winners we've had danny and Aaron and Ben, I think has won two. One was yeah. when Danny wasn't there. This was pre before Aaron was even playing, mm -hmm. and um, I don't remember what the other one was. But you know, it's still good that he won. But he hasn't Canada won. Canada did win the first Bobby oh, National yeah. time, and Very so did old school. So did Ice Cola, but yeah, like 
in recent years, it's only been years. In recent tournaments, it's only been Aaron and like Danny, but Danny hasn't won in five. So yeah. I think there's a high chance we crown a new champion. Which is crazy. Which would be really, really cool. cool. Unless yeah. Aaron shows up. The big villain, the big bad Aaron could yeah. show up and uh stomp everyone's dreams. But Very I definitely I think Weston, um, Adam, Ben, and Danny all have a chance. I think I, I think if what's really exciting is currently with no Aaron, there we're gonna see a player make it to Grands who we haven't seen in Grands in a while. Mm -hmm. Or have never seen in Grands, like Weston. That's that's true. Yeah. So I think that'll be very exciting. And if yeah. D'Angelo plays out of his mind, like how he did versus Aaron, mm -hmm. I don't know how much he's been playing this week, but if he warms up and keeps a good mentality, he honestly has a chance. This might yeah, not be the does. final. This might not be the final bracket. I might move it around a, a little bit more. But mm. right now, this is probably going to be it. I might swap Danny with someone else. But um, it's definitely looking very interesting, and I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but something that we have not brought up yet. We have Skelethot here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, reformed racist. Yeah. In fact. Reformed and racist. I don't know how good he is. I haven't seen him play in a long time. I don't know if he's played in between since when I've seen him play. Um, but I believe he plays Sheik. Uh, it's very nice to have a new face. We always like new faces here in the Bowie Bash. Yeah. Come on uh, down. Well, we welcome you in. Welcome you in with open arms. Yeah. We love new players. And... Uh, I'm, I hope he enjoys his stay here and comes back for more because, you know, we've been we've been missing some people. You know, gonna get mm -hmm. sentimental here for a minute on the Bubby Bash. You know, Ruben, Fish. Oh. No, say. Oh. Who, who else? Cam. Cam. Oh. So terrible, sad. Terrible. And hopefully we can see Fish and Ruben back soon. I know Cam has work. Yeah. Um, but we we'll we'll maybe discuss some things. See if we can see what we can do because yeah. we've been brainstorming some ways to get Cam back in. Um, but yeah, I I really think that's it's going to be a really good tournament, and yeah. I'm very excited. I'm always excited mm -hmm. for Bubby Bashes, but this one I'm particularly excited because I think yeah, I, I feel the last something. One just set it up so well. I feel something brewing. The last yeah, one was like, too. low new threats. Western yeah, Canada of the new age. Western Canada whoops up. Mm. Not new threats, but like threats that people that like Aaron and Danny gotta be like, hold on a minute. What's going oh, yeah. on? Yeah. And um, you know, I gotta be honest, I think Danny has gotta look out. He's gotta watch out. I think Aaron's still sitting pretty. But yeah, Danny Danny's gotta be sweating a little bit because people are starting to catch up. And he, for if, sure, for sure. if he doesn't put in what he needs to put in, yeah, I think he's gonna fall. Yeah. Because after all, every king must fall. Must fall. But we'll ask Very Danny nice that time. question in just a few minutes. For you, minutes, a second. Yeah. <laughs> for you, mere seconds. For you, right now. Welcome back, Bobby Bashers. Uh, we're here again yeah. with Danny G. Um, he's been the first recurring interview. And Danny G, how are you feeling today? No, I'm banging like a biscuit, my guy. I'm banging like a biscuit. No, I'm feeling swimming. Feel good, feel good. Yeah, that's good to that's hear. Amazing. Yeah. So after that last Bubby Bash, yeah. how you feeling? You know, I think uh I think I can sympathize with everyone else when I had my big winning streak, because now I think it's been five or six without a W for me, and I think on the mentality it's a little hard because I've been practicing as much as everyone else, and you know, even if you're getting second or third place. You don't get the W. I mean, it's just practice, isn't it? True. It's and just yeah. first loser. Exactly. That's the exact mentality. So you you would say that was rough on your outlook on the game? I would definitely say that because obviously I've been doing some MAGA with you guys, and I hope to do some more Republican stuff with you guys. But I think that <laughs> when you're practicing so much and you're not winning, it's an it's not annoying, but it's a little discouraging. I think. Yeah, for that sure. You won't. You always have the mindset that you want to do better, and you should keep trying to improve your game. And that's what I've been doing with you guys. And I've been trying to do it. Obviously, the Dan dashes and some other stuff could be changed, but I think that overall, I think I'm getting better. But 
it all comes down to tournament whether I can beat Aaron or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you you honestly, um, w whether or not you you say Adam choked or Weston choked or yeah. or you clutched it, you did win those sets versus Adam and Weston. They were were very close. Um, yeah. I think they both fell apart against you, but honestly, that's part of the game. Exactly. Um, so you're not looking like terrible or anything like that. You still Absolutely. you still made it to grands, obviously. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I do hope to see you improve. Um, are you are you just really honing it in against Aaron with your training right now, or are you also doing other players? Like, where's where are you balancing that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I've been doing most of my work against Whipsup. I call it work because it feels like a job. It doesn't feel like right. fun, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> the thing about Aaron is that he's got me read like a book, mm -hmm. and my problem is. The last book I read was the IHOP menu, so I'm kind of illiterate. So right. I can't really beat him. But I think that I've been trying to get as much Marth experience as I can, obviously. Whenever I'm mm -hmm. trying to do friendlies, Aaron's not really on, so I yeah. can't get that. But I think that Aaron is probably my biggest threat. The only thing is that, let's say in Torment, like this one, last one, Adam knocked out Aaron in first round. Let's mm -hmm. say... So I took Adam into losers. But let's say Adam beat Aaron in losers. If I beat Adam in grands, it won't feel like a W to me because I think personally, Aaron is definitely the best in the competition right now. And even though Adam might have beat Aaron, I don't feel like I beat the best, if you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally get what you're saying. Um... Big Whoa. on the car, please. That's a nice guy. That's a nice guy. <laughs> That's Aaron. Um, that, was, that was Aaron in the PR. Yeah, yeah he's just <laughs> moving up. Yeah, he's going. He's going places. So something uh, we were discussing about you in the BBBA, which you, yeah. you you may see if you watch the full video, is um, we were saying we think you're the most consistent. Your your yeah. your skill level is always like you. Know, I I've never had a day where I'm saying this is a Danny off day. Do you agree yeah. with this? I would definitely agree with that. Obviously, besides like Aaron just winning every time, that's. A different type of consistency but i think that i've almost always i don't think i've gone below second or third besides when i have entered mm -hmm. and i think that if you have a consistent showing in the top i think that's the best consistency you can get honestly yeah um yeah i mean are, are you what player are you looking out for that you think is going to be uh, a much bigger threat let's say they're not now but yeah. is there a player you're looking out for that you're like man they're they're getting good i should watch out later yeah uh i think a couple honestly uh first and foremost weston he's mm -hmm. definitely had a meteoric rise in the past few belly bashes and mm -hmm. i think he's definitely gotten better in friendlies in the tournament and i think he personally would have beat aaron if his mentality wasn't shot after that one sd on the second yeah game, yeah he lost it that's what we were saying. Because he was going to go 2 0, and I think he was going to get 3 0 on that round. But I think Weston, he's definitely improving. Uh, M. Jovell, I don't know how much we're going to be seeing him, but I think that he said they get a lack of Samus experience. And I think that's the case with a lot of these new players against me is that they don't verse Samus, Samus I, Samus C, I don't know. But they don't <laughs> really have much experience and know what to do against her. Right. But I think after they get that matchup experience then it'll do better and once adam can finally replicate his friendly form into torment form then he'll be dangerous but until then it's not happening for him i'm sorry dang oh shit let him know let him know yeah let him know you know <laughs> yeah, you, well, should, that's... you should invite adam to the call right now have a Ooh, conversation. he's he's in class oh, currently yeah. oh he, you know what class he needs to be in he needs to be in a maga class that's yeah, what Danny says. Facts. True, true. Yeah, dude. Well, um, if you like, ever need specific character matchup, you can always ask us, Danny G, or yeah. and the loyal viewers. Uh, mm -hmm. We can give you any character you want. Yes, yeah. any yeah. character. Any character. Any character? Yeah. Even Sheik. Even Sheik. Yeah. Even there was a while up. Plum did not play Sheik. Uh, Pleak is now on the board. Well, there's always uh, Deke. So. <laughs> <laughs> Deke is sick. Deke is um, sick that's all the questions I have today. Yeah, that's a, that's all I got too. Thank you for uh, giving us your time, Danny G. No problem, no problem. What about SpongeBob experience though? So, 
when that time comes. True, yeah. true. Very excited for that game. Very excited, dude. It's gonna be great. Thank you, Danny G. Good luck in the next tournament. And I'll see you, you in another life. Yeah. I'll see you guys in another life. I'll win the next tournament for you guys. Don't worry. Thank you. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go, guys. Danny G, I need you to hang up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I did want to point out before we end this BBVA is I think oh. we're, we're, we're in an age where you remember when Danny wins, we're like, oh, it's just by the numbers. This is standard. Mm-hmm. I think we're to a point where it would be hype to see Danny win. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think so, too. That would be super hype. And it will be hype to see you there, viewer and player. Yes. And the next Bubby Bash. Good luck and have fun. I know you're all going to crush it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, by the way, player of the week yeah. is uh, Perth Canada and Weston. And Weston. Uh, because, of, because of their performances. Uh, that's it. Yeah. That's all we got.